Hey Cam Fam, welcome back and welcome to Keeping Up With Cam. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning into our channel. And if you're returning subby, thank you so much for coming back. So today we have our toddler boy hairstyle number 76. This is going to be a braided style. It's gonna have a little bit of a Valentine's Day twist. Um, and it's fairly easy once you get the parting done. Um, not too hard, not too easy. All right, so I'm going in right now and I'm just separating the back because these do have straight back braids and I prefer having the back sectioned out before I start braiding from the front. So I just section off a small portion um, from ear to ear in the back of the head and now I'm just collecting everything up and making sure that it's clean and that it's not slanted. That's the thing I usually find, the lines are, <laughs> are somewhat slanted, so just make sure you go in and you clean everything up. And this is what we're working with, a fairly small section in the back, nothing too special. So now we're going to start working on the heart. We're going to have a heart on each side of the head of the scalp. And we're going to go in, we're going to start just like you're writing um, a heart on paper. You're going to find that middle of the heart, the inside middle point first. And you're going to make your curve at the top going towards the perimeter of the hair first. You're not going to start with the inside, you're going to start with the outside first. Once you do that and you're just going to do the top on that side, you're going to go and you're going to start on the opposite side and you're going to make the full um, the full curve all the way down. So as you do that, you're then going to start at the bottom where the two points would meet and you're just going to make sure everything lines up and it does look like an actual heart. As you can see here, mine is a little bit slanted. So I'm just going in and fixing it so that when I pull the hair apart from each other it actually looks like an actual heart that you would draw and that's how you know that it will look good you're not going to go in and make another line there because you're just going to braid along the perimeter so whatever you have at the top then you're going to have everything on the other side and it's all going to meet at the bottom so once you do that you're not going to go in and you're going to divide that heart down the middle you're just going to go straight down the middle make sure everything is even if it's not even if you have more than just a point at the bottom then you've parted it wrong you're just going to go back in and clean it up once you do that, you're now going to go in and we're going to separate each section. So I'm working on the left side here and you're going to kind of do it in half, but you're going to start a little bit up because remember we're making a heart shape, so it's not going to be um, equal. So you have a smaller section at the top, which is just going to connect to that longer section. So you've split it in two, but they're not equal. Um, so just look at what I'm doing for a reference because I feel like the words I'm saying are not um, making it sound any easier. So once you do that on both sections, you're going to be able to start working. Section each off, just, you know, twist them up, whatever you need to do. Um, and this is what it's going to look like. You're going to see they're going up at a slant um, for the smaller pieces where you're, where you're parting. And this is just what it looks like all around. So go in with the usual. You're going to be using your shine and jam. Um, handy dandy trusty yellow shine and jam um, and you're going to then go in and clean it up it's going to be a little bit tricky because you're cleaning up a curved line which is not always easy but at the same time you don't want it to look unneat like because this is a design you need it to look as neat as possible so i'm going in with the lock and pomade braid formula this is in the middle uh, medium hold i didn't do the super strong hold um, just because i find that it leaves like a white residue and i didn't want that in his hair so that's why I decided to do the parting with the shine and jam and then I'm doing the braiding with this medium hold product. Again, everything's listed in the description box below. So if you need to get your hands on anything, you can see what, um, what we have and, and decide if you want to buy them as well. Um, so once I put that on the section of the hair, I'm now going to brush, comb, um, rub it in, whatever you need to do. Okay, so now we're gonna start braiding. We're gonna start with a very, very small section, three pieces, and you're just gonna braid a very thin braid. You wanna keep this as small and like delicate as possible. Um, and you're gonna braid it going upward. So you're gonna be standing behind the braid and you're gonna braid it towards yourself. It's gonna be a small piece because we're just starting this, this out, but just make sure that it looks really neat. It's really thin and it's really um, together. So as you see, I'm going up. It's only a couple paces that I'm really going with this braid. I braid a little bit extra just to let it hang over as I get the bottom situated. So what we're gonna do with the bottom now, we're gonna add that top piece into the bottom while curving it. Because again, this is a braid, so we need to make sure everything 
connects so I'm going in and I'm adding in the um, the gel again and I'm using my comb to work it through getting it prepared and I'm gonna go back to that top piece I'm gonna unbraid it a little bit and start braiding it again and I'm curving it toward myself and then downward so we were braiding up before and now we're gonna be braiding down and just keep that going all the way to that center point at the bottom that we were talking about and then braid a little bit extra and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and connect make sure you clean up your lines as much as possible i know we do that with regular braids anyways but because it's a design if it's not like meticulously neat you're not going to be able to tell what it is because these are so small connecting with each other to make a picture it can just look like a blob if we're not doing our job properly so make sure everything is super neat super clean and we're starting again in that middle point we're going to be braiding up towards ourselves, and then we're going to braid off a little bit and we're going to connect in a minute okay so the most important connection is the one at the perimeter because that's the one that gets seen the most so just make sure that you're getting all the hair in um, and you want to keep it as in the middle of our part as possible so that, again, it just looks like what we're actually trying to create here. So you can use your brush or your comb um, as you're going just to make sure you scoop all that hair in so that it stays together and there's nothing left behind. Because you don't really want like, um, like little baby hairs or little flyaways outside because then it takes away from the beauty of the heart that we're designing. At this point, he's in awe and he just wants to feel this heart because he thinks it's absolutely so cool that he has a heart in his hair. So once we have the two ends, we're going to go in and we're going to just attach them to each other. So you're just going to braid them into one another. There's a much neater way, a much nicer way to do this. But me, I just like to just grab everything um, and kind of just mesh them evenly just to make sure that obviously it doesn't look like it's top heavy or like heavier on one side of the braid than the other so you just catch that together and once it looks neat you just keep braiding it down as usual and I just go with an overhand braid that way that it's a little bit looser because like I say when we braid underhand or when we braid tighter I just find that everything curls up quicker and I don't like that so I've gone in add a little bit of gel to the end combed it through and just braided the ends like normal so now I'm going in and I'm going to make that middle part. Um, I've decided where the middle of his hair is. So I'm just going to make that a zigzag. Now you can make this a bigger zigzag if you like, but I figured that I liked the idea of a smaller one. So that's why I've gone back in now and done it over. So I'm just going in. You can start at the left or the right, whichever is easier for you, whichever is more comfortable for you. And you're just going to make, um, you're just going to make your line on an angle. Um, you're going to just cut lines into the part on an angle left right left right connecting them to each other um, smaller parts for a um, more of a zigzag look bigger lines for a wider zigzag look I should have got a better angle of this as I was doing it I do have this in other videos but I will show you here what it looks like when I'm done and it's it's very simple you're just gonna go side to side as you're doing it so now I'm going in with my 100% Indian hemp hair and scalp treatment this is by Kuza and I'm just adding it to his scalp um, I find that this area of his hair like in the middle I guess more so where I part the hair straight for for his styles it gets to be dry um, so I always make sure when I'm braiding I add that in as I go and then once I'm done braiding I go back and wherever um, his scalp is out that's when I add some more but when I'm braiding I definitely add it to the middle um, because I can see um, a couple flakes when I'm when I'm already in his hair. So we're just going in and we're making a simple straight back braid beside it. This is going to connect um, the remainder of whatever's left behind after making uh, the heart shape. So make it um, a little bit bigger because you need it to still have enough size as the braid itself because the balance of whatever's left from the from the heart is not going to be enough to really make it a thick braid so eyeball it make sure the part that you're giving it is enough to make the braid actually look decent and then you're just going to connect it to the end so this is technically our first braid in the back because the heart came to the side so you don't want to give it too much work but like the reason why we did section off the back first it lets us know how much we how much space we have to work with um 
for the braids that are coming down so just make sure you give it an easy an even amount um not too big because we want everything to be fairly even as we go throughout the style so after combing and braiding everything out i'm now adding the gel again i'm going to be a little heavy-handed adding the gel for certain braids in this style because certain braids are a little bit on the bigger side so you want to make sure that everything is saturated and everything is worked through so that when you braid it, it it lays flat and it looks nice if not and it's not um gelled enough it's gonna just get really really messy really easily because these kids love to just like drag their head along anything and everything possible and just makes the style so stale so quickly so I've gone in and I just got a little piece from the beginning. Again, we're just using small pieces to start and we're just going to braid it back. Make sure you're catching all the hair in as you go. We want to keep this braid as centered as possible because remember on our right side, it's not going to have the same amount of hair as the left side because it's the braid closest to the heart. So we're going to just go through, make sure that you use your comb or your brush if you need to, to just get the hair in. Use your little alligator clips as you go as well, just to make sure that you're not getting flyaways from any other parts of the hair into the braid and making that um, part not neat because we've already put enough gel and we want to make sure it's as neat as possible. Once you do that, you're just going to keep braiding all the way down, connect it to the bottom, which is now easy because we have sectioned off the bottom half. As you go through these, just remember that your comb is your best friend for you to mold the section and to uh, comb the hair into place as you're braiding. And your brush is your best friend to brush out the ends to make sure everything stays detangled and is neat and easy to braid to the ends, to the absolute ends. You wanna make sure you braid down as far to the tips as you can. Um, if you have blunt ends because like you just did a trim or something like that, use an elastic, but get as far down as you can. Um, that again allows for the braids to stay long, to look neater longer, to last longer, and for it to look very nice. All right, so this is the bottom half of one half of the hair. So this, that bottom section is what you're going to be putting all of that hair right there on the right side into. So make sure when you're braiding it out, you part everything um, accordingly so that you don't have too much hair going into one section at the bottom or not enough. You run out of space at the bottom and you can't braid it all the way down to the end. So this next braid now is going to be a thinner, just regular braid. It's going to go straight down to the bottom. It's just going to be a small braid. You don't want it to be too thick. You want to give it that nice little sleek style, um, sleek look. So once you get it parted out and it looks the way that you would like it to look, you go ahead and add your shine and jam and you're going to use your tail comb and you're going to clean it up. Cleaning up is key, um, especially when we have these styles where the braids are smaller and the designs are intricate um, compared to like a six braid or a four braid style where it wouldn't really make much difference. I'm not saying keep a sloppy part, <laughs> but um, it's more noticeable on these type of styles. So just make sure that you take your time, you go in, you use that shine and jam um, to clean up the part and then you'll be good to go. So this isn't a larger section braid, so you don't have to slather it in gel, but you do want to have a decent amount because you want to be able to keep that braid laying flat. You don't want to have the bigger pieces with more gel and it looks neat and, and thin and laid down. And then this one doesn't have as much gel and it looks fuzzy and frizzy and it's um, bulky. You don't want it to look bulky. The more gel you put in, the more combing and brushing you do of that gel or just using the end of the rat tail comb to smooth it through and smooth it into the middle to mold that section together, um, the less bulky the braid will look. So we're looking for the least amount of bulk as possible, especially with these smaller braids. So once your section is prepared, you're going to go in and you're going to start off at the very tip of this section. Um, because it is a smaller size braid, you want to start with a very little amount of hair. Um, you're going to have your three pieces and you're just going to start braiding from the very tip of it. And you're just going to go all the way back as normal. There's no, um, there's no real need to use your comb because it is a smaller section. You should have already uh, kind of molded and got the hair into place before you started. But if you think that you need it and it helps you out, you can go ahead and use it. So 
so even though I most of the time don't show it whenever I start braiding the ends of the hair I always use my brush and I go through and get any tangles out because when I'm cornrowing the front part I usually get a lot of tangles because I'm just going quickly I'm just going through doing what I'm doing so you want to make sure that everything is combed out so I'm now going to go in and use the remaining hair to section it off into two uh, technically into two but I'm not starting sectioning um, both of them from the, the top of the head I'm actually starting this one from the middle um, so it's gonna be a long braid back it's gonna be a shorter braid and then it's gonna be another long braid beside that so I kind of just eyeballed it and looked and see where it landed I originally had a different idea of how I was going to braid the hair that uh, was in the middle where the zigzag was I wanted to kind of incorporate the braid as a zigzag but let's be honest i just did not have the time um and i figured i could do that with a more uh, intricate style this one i wanted to keep it a little bit more simple and just concentrate on the hearts on the side so i decided to just um, stop this one in the middle and then just do the one that is the middle braid with the zigzag just incorporate just the zigzag without actually trying to zigzag the braid itself Okay, so now I'm going to just look at the amount of hair that I have left for the two. And as you can see, it's not equal. The middle one is a little bit smaller. Um, and because of the size of the braids, it wouldn't make much sense for the uh, middle braid with the zigzag to be thinner at the bottom because it, it's going to have more hair. So I'm just going back in and I'm just cleaning it up and I'm just looking, I'm pulling them to the side, making sure that one, it's equal and two, it's straight. Because like I say often, he does have moving scalp and it's quite uh, common with most people. So if you're having issues when you're parting, you like you know you parted it straight, but then after you braid it, it looks like you didn't. It might be because of moving scalp. So um, be kind of mindful of that and just make sure that when you do your part, you're kind of pulling on each side of it to make sure that it's actually centered and it's actually straight. And it'll give you a, a glimpse of what it'll look like once it's complete because their scalp does move and it may not land where we think it's gonna land. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but a lot of our reveals at the end of the videos recently have been done in our elevator. And that's because I've been trying to split the hair day in half. So we start like when we get home from school, we finish in the morning before school. And by that time we are rushing out the house, trying to get to school on time. And I'm just like, we gotta do this in the elevator. Um, thankfully the lighting's decent. So <laughs> we're able to put the video together, but I'm gonna try and get on a more uh, regular accord as we were before and do the style in completion in one night so that I can get the reveal video done on the same day so you know what it looks like when it was braided and not like the next morning after being slept on. Okay, so again, this is our look at the middle part. It is a zigzag. So I'm going in with a decent amount of gel and I'm making sure that I'm getting it on both sides of this part. One side is just regular straight and the other side obviously is zigzag. So once I'm done applying the gel, I'm going back in one to clean up the part, um, the zigzag itself, but also to comb all the hair into the middle. It is a bigger piece of hair a bigger section of hair so we want everything to be centered so that it's easier for the braid to look neat and for the braid to go as it should um we don't want it to be on one side we don't want it to be bulky we want everything to just lay flat and look decent so as you can see here i'm going in with the tail end of the comb i'm working in the middle and getting all of that um all of that hair from the zigzag over and then i'm going to do the straight part after the most important part that you want to get flat is the zigzag part because one it's in the middle of the style um but two it's 
different than just a regular part so you want it to look good because it's not just straight back so make sure you're going through taking your time it can be quick it can be long whatever works for you but you want to make sure that this part is neat and is centered all right so again as you can see very small pieces of hair that i'm starting with and i'm just going to grab it all in and i'm going to braid it down as usual um make sure that you're getting all the hair in as you go this one might need you to be a little bit slower so that you're more precise with what you're doing um take your time don't rush through it braid each part of this zigzag use your comb to make sure that the hair is in each section as you go um, and then you can work your way down now if you need a more in-depth view of how i hold my hands to braid or how i start a braid i have some other videos on my channel that will show you that um, i will link the playlist um, but I will also have the videos in the description box down below so you can have a look at that and see what will help you guys. But if there's anything in particular that I haven't covered that you guys would like to see in a video, in a short, or in a TikTok, let me know in the comments or you can find us on Instagram. All of our social media is at Keeping Up With Cam. Let me know what you're looking for me to do and I will get a video made for you guys with that, okay? When I get closer to the bottom, I'm gonna add a little bit of gel to the ends. That again is kind of just important for me right now because I'm not too sure if he has like split ends or dead ends or if this is just how his hair is because it's curly and thick. So it just helps me make sure that the hair is straight and the ends um, I'm able to work all the way down. I'm gonna try and get them cut soon and we'll see what happens. But for now, I just wanna show you guys, this is what the other side ended up looking like. I tried to keep it as symm symmetrical as possible, um, but I ended up having to add in like an extra braid on this side. I guess his head's kinda big. Um, but I do also attribute it to the fact that this second braid here is actually smaller than the second braid on the other side. So even if you don't have the exact same on each side, if you have the general idea of what you're doing, you're fine, because it's really just the heart that's important for this style. So this is a look at half of the hair when I was done. Half is five braids, um, five, six braids, the heart on the side, and it looks super cute. It's fairly easy style because it's really just straight back braids. The only thing that's different is two hearts on each side. And here we are with the final product, guys. Again, another elevator reveal, but this is what the style ended up looking like. It came out so cute. He absolutely loves the hearts. Um, it was perfect for Valentine's Day. I did it when I did it because he had his Valentine's Day dance on the Thursday, so it worked out great. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you have not already. Follow us on all of our social media at Keeping Up With Cam. Come back for the next video and share our video and our channel with your friends and family. If you have anything you'd like to let us know, hit us in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.